Hello, we're Craig and Graham from Adelaide, South Australia, and we have enjoyed two amazing tours with Trafalgar. Our first was in 2022, when we became engaged on a sunset cruise beneath the Eiffel Tower, and our second was a year later, when we decided to tie the knot into Brovnik whilst on the Balkan Delight Tour. When you first meet your tour companions, don't make assumptions about their identities or relationships based on their appearance. Be respectful of gender identity and use inclusive language. This will have an immediate impact on helping your new friends feel comfortable and confident to be themselves on tour. If somebody feels comfortable enough to share their identity with you as part of their adding story, respect their privacy and don't disclose it to the rest of the group without their permission. Ask them which gender pronouns they use. Call out any discriminatory language or behaviours. Casual homophobia is still a big issue. Used directly or indirectly, it negatively impacts the experience for anybody who identifies this way. If you don't feel comfortable confronting the behaviour yourself, raise it with your tour director. We couldn't have asked for better allies on our Trafalgar tours. From the guests who embraced us with such warmth and happiness during our Paris proposal, and those who ultimately became our wedding guests in Croatia. To our friends in the LGBTIQA plus community, you don't need to feel any hesitation booking yourself onto a group tour. You'll contribute to a wonderful social fabric of identities united together with a shared passion for travel.